something stupid and quirky for the opening intro. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Wayfest Reviews. My name is Jeffrey. You probably already knew that the ten of you that watch this show. I'm going to stop making that joke. Let's get going. I decided to spice things up a bit and start a series of top five, top ten lists because I review movies every so often. Even though I have a bunch of movie reviews up on YouTube, I don't review as much as I would like to. So, let's get started with my first top ten list the top 10 Pokemon from the first generation. And keep in mind, this is a completely opinion based. I'm not trying to shove my opinion down people's throats. I just, I feel like sharing it, man. I feel like my list is unique enough to stand on its own. Except for probably who my number one favorite is. And uh, no spoilers here. Anyway, let's get started with number 10. Scyther, a love child between a grasshopper and Maraca from Mortal Kombat. And do I need to say anything else? It's a reptile bug with blade arms. I mean, that's just awesome as it is. Number 9, Nidoking. This thing starts off from a pink unicorn hamster, and then it turns into a pink rhino pig. And then suddenly, it becomes purple hamster dragon. There you have it. And when I was a kid, I played Pokemon Yellow. That was my first game. And when I came across Moonstones, I was like, I discovered, hey, I can use this and evolve my Nidoran just like that. I had a heavy hitting Pokemon right off the bat. Only it wasn't leveled up at all and it was the wimpiest Nidoking that anyone has ever seen. But still, it was awesome all the same for me as a kid. So Nidoking always holds a special place in my heart. Number 8, Hitmonlee. Okay, I'm done doing my racist Karate Master impression. Anyway, Hitmonlee. You had two choices. You had Hitmonchan, a ballerina boxer named after Jackie Chan. Nice touch. And then you had him on Lee, a giant walnut with legs that could destroy you in a single blow. Named after Bruce Lee. I went with him because he was named after Bruce Lee. And the fact that he looked like a giant walnut with legs that could destroy you in a single blow. He just looked a lot cooler than Ballerina Boxer over there anyway. I always just wrecked shit with him. Why is he not in Pokemon Tournament? I'm just... Why? There better be some add-ons for that game, even though I've never even played it. The chandelier thing, really? <sighs> Number seven. <laughs> I mean, Electabuzz. Imagine the Pokemon gods just before creating all Pokemon life decided to get really drunk for this one decision. Okay. What if... We... What if we take a duck? And then, we go over there and get a tiger. Hear me out. <laughs> An alien, you know, from a generic UFO. Those little guys with the antennas, there's... Let's mesh them together and throw in a splash of yellow and two AA batteries. How's that sound? <laughs> and I think that's what happened with Electabuzz. And to be honest, he was always one of my favorites as a kid because he just looked super cool and just really original and awesome. A giant alien duck tiger with electrical powers. What's not to like there? Number six, Jolteon. One of my absolute favorites. I mean, you have the Fashion Diva Flareon and you have... God knows what Vaporeon, and then you have badass lightning-inspired Jolteon. He was the one I wanted my Eevee to evolve as a kid, and he is just so cool. I always used him in Pokemon Yellow, I always used him in Pokemon Stadium, and why isn't he in Pokemon Tournament? Again, just why, 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 why? I think it's a safe bet that a lot of people agree with me on this one. Just high five to all of you. And anybody who likes the other ones, I respect your opinion, but... I just like Jolteon better. Don't shoot me. Number five, Onyx. Pokemon Yellow, when I was playing that through the first time, I get to the first gym. I go up there. I have a tough time beating Brock's Geodude, but I get through it. But then I'm, I'm barely alive, and I'm thinking, okay, it's just going to be another Geodude. And holy God, the first giant obstacle of this game is a giant rock snake. Oh my god, I want one so bad. And this guy gave me a hell of a time and just whooped my ass like literally ten times in a row before I evolved my Metapon to a Butterfree and wrecked his shit. I mean, seeing Onyx as the first time as a kid, I was legitimately terrified because this dude was the first thing giant Pokemon I have ever come across in this game and it was just not letting up on me and I couldn't beat it for the life of me. It was just completely awesome. And I always wanted one. Hot Mix for the win. Number four, Dragonite. Now, I know everybody thinks this exact same thing. You go from cute little sea dragon to elegant sea dragon to ward from Dragon Tales. And I, I totally see it. But, you know what? It's a dragon, and I love dragons, so I don't care. 
it's, it's a dragon. But hey, the Dragon Master in the Elite Four has two of them, so obviously they're awesome. Just because they look a little too cute for their own good doesn't mean you should judge a book by its cover. They are awesome. Dragonite to the win. Number three, Gyarados Magikarp. You poor, poor thing, you. Just flopping about in there, flailing mindlessly, and if a trainer actually thinks you're capable of getting in battle, you just flail about even more in an attempt to tackle somebody, but you poor, poor innocent thing. But poetically, eventually, you prove everybody wrong. You were not useless. Deep down inside you, for such a long time, lies the most incredible sea serpent that has ever swam the mighty seas, Gyarados. Magikarp, when you evolve into Gyarados, you command everybody's respect, and you say, Fuck the haters, I am coming for your ass. I'm gonna whoop you in one fucking blow. Hyper Beam, bitch! Gyarados, you are awesome. Number two, Arcanine. It's a tiger wolf lion. It's a tiger wolf lion. It's a tiger wolf lion! That can breathe fire. Do I need to say anything else? It's a tiger wolf lion that can breathe fire. And the number one first generation Pokemon is, okay, you already know who it is. I don't even need to say who it is. Everybody in this entire world knows exactly who the number one first generation Pokemon is. I I'm not even going to say it. I mean, you're seeing multiple clips right now of the number one Pokemon, but I'm not even going to say his name because way too many people know who this guy is. And it, it shows. It's, he is the most awesome Pokemon of all time. And a lot of people, for the sake of being different, say, oh, he's overrated. It, 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 it shut up there because you know deep down in your heart that this Pokemon is the most badass thing that has ever come out of the Pokemon franchise and still is. And ever since they brought in the Mega Evolutions, yes, two more evolved forms, X and Y. I mean, oh my god. And ever since Pokemon Origins, he wrote some Mewtwo's ass. It, you know what? Okay, now you can have some time in the spotlight, a little marketable product. This dude right here is the number one Pokemon from the first generation. But there you have it, people. This has been my list for the top ten Pokemon from the original generation. And the winner is Charizard. I mean, you already saw that coming all the way at the beginning of the review. But, hey, it was a fun journey leading up to it, huh? Not really. Subscribe and like, everybody. See you later. Go. Go. Are you looking for annotations? Go. I'm too lazy to do those normally. Fine. This has been Wayfest Reviews, and we'll see you next time on Team Epic Force there. Okay, bye.